Welcome to KSM Adventures of an Arcane Mage here on Lord PD TV Plays. In this video series, we will be following PD as he tries to learn how to play Arcane Mage while getting Keystone Master. See all of our restrictive rules on Discord. Please note that throughout the video, non-boss combat is double speed. And if you have any questions or comments, please place them below. Please hit that follow button to see more content from Lord PDTV throughout the week. So this week I really had a very interesting situation when trying to put keys together. What ended up happening was I was in this kind of situation where my gear is definitely strong enough to deal with these keys. But my biggest issue was that I did not have the IO to on certain keys to go higher because I tried getting keys at 15 level at 14 level and i was having a lot of issues so if i ended up having a really good run on keys i would ending up trying to get a higher key i feel that you know with the season closely coming to a close it was this time that i really needed to start pushing to get this stuff done uh, i want to get some of these keys done and you know i've even been asked um in stream to see if i can do some 17s which I'm going to try to eventually do after I get my KSM, uh, but we'll see how things go. And uh, yeah, and it was a very, very interesting week. And the, my last, the freehold dungeon that we had uh, frustrated me to no end. So we'll see how uh, everything else goes this week and how things go for the future. The thing that I enjoyed the most about the Watcher fight was the fact that I was able to just sit and blast and go off and get as much damage out as possible and do whatever the heck I can get going right from the start. Once that went and once that started going, it felt really good. I got some pretty good damage in and then I had to start doing some movement around the room. But, you know, that was mostly because, you know, that's just the dynamic of the fight. So while I was moving, I was trying to make sure I used my arcane missiles or uh, while I was doing that and just trying to keep everything uh, going properly and uh, only just hope that we were able to get as much damage in as possible. Did I have that? Seems you got it.
Looking to support the channel? Go to teespring.com, click on the link in the description, and go ahead and take a look at that really, really nice merchandise. Pick it up to help support the channel. Now, most people know that Gulp and Goliath, the hardest problem with this is the power or overpowered croak, you know, the main attack he does, because he drops those adds down. Now, the biggest deal we wanted to make sure we did was CC them in the middle, make sure the gulp happened, make sure we didn't have a problem. Now, for me, the hardest problem with this was the fact that it was it was kind of hard for me to DPS while that close, while trying to deal with the CC. Uh, so my DPS was a little bit lower here, but overall in the dungeon, I felt pretty dang good about it. Don't know how to properly deal with this boss yet. I will say this, this group has got some organized CC. I haven't seen this much organized CC in this dungeon in such a long time. Just a reminder, Lord PD TV can be used at Rogue Energy Drink to have a discount, support the channel. Links in the description. So a little bit of a full warning on this. I ended up doing this fight. Uh, we ended up doing it multiple times. So to not torture everybody, I ended up putting it at 300 speed uh, for voice and also for the, uh, you know, the fight itself. Um, the fight itself, the problem was that the the healer 
it felt like they did not know 100% what they were doing for this fight. Uh, in addition to that, the tank was kind of just thinking that he was just all gung-ho and just kind of going with it. And it really, really frustrated me because we ended up not timing the key because of that. Now, what I will say is that we took the time to kind of go over it. And, you know, the everybody was like, it's your fault. It's your fault. And I'm like... No, this is what we got to do. This is what we got to focus up on. Let's just get this done right and keep going. And it took us about three or four times to actually do attempts on this boss to get it right. Because we ended up having a problem where, you know, people were getting hit with cyclones right off the bat. And then we had issues with, you know, people standing in the wrong spots. And then we had more issues of people, you know, just dying to the, the frost that happened to the ground. So it really, really was frustrating overall what was going on. I mean, the only thing that was good was the fact that the monk was able to actually reset the boss multiple times for us. But you, you can see throughout the whole entire fight, people were just dying due to, you know, silly mechanics. Uh, and, and in the end, all of us pretty much died because the healer died at one point and the, the tank pretty much took him down from, I think it was almost like 50%, if I recall correctly. But it was just so frustrating and so annoying. But, you know, whatever. The, the dungeon's over. I don't have to think about it with this group anymore. And I can kind of just move on.
clearly. How'd you think I'm trouble? Oh, I fix it. No, it's gonna die. Been busy. It'll be quicker for me to run back because I'm gonna use a shortcut. That's a 14 completed. Yeah, you probably paid for a run. Curious. Have you seen Lord PDTV wearing these amazing gamer glasses? These glasses are from Sub2R. If you go to the description and you click on their link, and if you want to purchase them, use Lord PDTV at checkout for 10% off. When we ended up pulling the boss, it felt really good because I was able to, you know, do my double lust, do my rotation, and kind of just let loose. And once I started letting loose and kind of just going for it, you can see, like, I just started blasting. And we got, like, I think I got to about 110, 115 uh, DPS on the boss. And it was just crazy because it was just, we were just going nutty for it. And I, I, that's the one thing I really, really enjoy about the Arc Game Age because you can feel yourself creeping higher on your DPS when you're actually working on the rotation, you know, somewhat correctly. And I think that the pre-damage on it was kind of annoying, but overall, we kind of just let go, did the arcane blast, did whatever we needed to do. You know, I see there, I got like, I'm sitting consistently over 100 now. So it, it felt really good, and, and you know, we kind of just felt continuing to go with the rotation. So it was cool. Uh, I just want to say thanks again, everybody, for checking out our videos, and we're going to be putting out as many of them throughout the whole entire week. Uh, at least four dungeons are going to be mages. Uh, I should say four videos are going to be of the mage each week, and so then we'll have, you know, our regular uh, affix videos, and we're going to have other videos, too, every single week. So thank you very much for hanging out. I greatly appreciate you all for spending the time here, and I will see you all soon. Thank you, and I hope to see you all soon in chat. Bye, everybody.